What's up, it's Amber, and welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new here. And if you are new here, you should definitely subscribe. So for today's video, I'm gonna be doing an updated what is in my purse and I'm so excited to do this. It has been requested. I try to do these like once a year because around this time every year, my purse is so full of crap that it's just very fun to go through and see what's inside. So before we get started, I'm just gonna do shout out of the week real quick. And this week's shout out of the week goes to Ajuni. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. This is a comment that I saw that was so cute. It literally made my whole entire day. This is from my new video. So shout out to you, boo. And if you guys want a chance of being shout out of the week in the next video, just make sure you're following me on social media. I always choose a random comment or message. So make sure you're following me on my social medias. And without further ado, let's see what's in my purse. All right, you guys, this purse is serious. I've had it for, I think three or four years now. It's the Louis Vuitton, Louis Vuitton. Oh my God, who the f do I think I am? Like literally, who do I think I am? This is the Michael Kors Jet Set purse. It's pretty big. It fits a ton of stuff. Going on four years now, I've had this purse. The straps are holding up great. And I put so much stuff in this purse. It's not even funny. When I travel or go to the airport, I always have my laptop in here and not just my laptop, but my whole laptop case, which is pretty heavy. I always have a cosmetic bag of some sort and yeah we'll get into all that's in here but right now this is light when I travel this bag probably weighs 20 pounds I would say like it gets really heavy so let's just dive right in the first thing that I'll talk about though is this little hand sanitizer here my mom got me this for Christmas because you know COVID, we gotta be safe. It's just adorable. I keep it here so I can just squirt some sanitizer out real fast. And this is my bag that I typically take, like I said, when I'm traveling, staying away somewhere. Um, when I'm going to work, I bring this bag. First thing on the subject of work is my apron. I am a waitress, so I do have this black apron in my bag and it has all my waitressing tools inside. Goodness, I have some loose stuff everywhere. This is not good. Next thing I have in here is my planner and this is going to be my 2021 planner. I have some stuff over here it's from target by the way if you guys are looking to snatch this and then i have all my stickers in this little pouch here which is so cute and then this is the january spread not much planned i do have this imagine sticker that one of you guys sent me that's pretty much it not much going on in january but i do like to sit down like every sunday and just kind of like go through my planner and fill it out of course during the quarantine i haven't really been keeping up with a planner as much but i wanted to start again this year because i do love having a planner before the pandemic happened i literally always had a planner with me i had a big planner that i kept in my purse and then i had a little mini planner that i kept in my apron because i was obviously at work a lot more before the pandemic so i'm trying to get back into using my planner because it definitely helps me so much. Next thing we have in here is some cloud, which I'm gonna spray because I'm obsessed with cloud. This is the body spray. It is amazing. It smells so spot on to the perfume. And in my opinion, usually body sprays never are as good as the perfume, but the cloud body spray is out of this world. The only thing is it just doesn't last so long. Like I don't feel like it lasts very long. Then I have a couple of masks here this pink one which is a reusable mask i just gotta wash it i leave it in here just in case but i tend to use these throwaway masks these are pink ones that i got from tj maxx and then before i throw them away i always break off the straps because you don't want these strangling animals out there because god knows our trash winds up all over the streets <laughs> but the reason that i use the throwaway masks is because of my acne i have been trying to help my acne and i find that not using the same mask every single day or for a long period of time helps then i also have in here a hotel key because i love a good getaway <laughs> i also have some gum i love this one it's the polar ice extra gum i have a tampon floating around in here it's supposed to be in my cosmetic bag but it must have fallen out i have another hotel key i have a giant band-aid because you just never know and then i also have a couple of slips from work punching out at work i guess the last loose thing that's hanging around in here other than a quarter <laughs> i feel like there's literally always a piece of change in my bag so weird this is my cosmetic bag it's a knockoff louis vuitton bag i got this from one of my good friends has a thrifting account on instagram and i saw this and i was like girl i need this go check her out my friend hannah she's iconic she has so many businesses she's literally a queen but this is my little cosmetic bag it is so big it fits so much stuff i'll go through it with you guys in case you're looking to have like an essentials kit in your purse there are two little pockets up here which are perfect so i have a twisted peppermint lotion maybe you can recognize 
recognize a theme. I have the Twisted Peppermint hand sanitizer and the lotion because it's one of my favorite scents of all time. Then I also have this Ultra Repair Cream, which is by the brand First Aid Beauty. And this stuff works so good. It's literally so healing. I'm honestly wondering if I can put it on my face because I have a dry patch of skin around my nose and I think it's from my nose running all the time in the winter. And I'm wondering if this could help. But it's safe for sensitive skin. A lot of you guys know I have really sensitive skin. So I tend to try to use like pretty basic lotions and stuff. But I also used this when I got my tattoos, like my finger tattoos. I would put this on whenever I got tattoos as like, my lotion because the tattoo place that I go to they don't send you home with like a cream or anything then I have my passport I keep it in here because like I said this is the bag I use when I travel then I have a scrunchie this is a Christmas scrunchie I need to swap it out for like another season scrunchie I have thank you next the mini perfume which is freaking adorable Timmy got me this for Christmas and I just love it I was like you know what it's gonna fit perfectly in here because it's not too big and then I have a couple of packs of wipes I have pampers sensitive skin baby wipes which I use when I go number two this has come in handy at the airport at work like literally any public restroom I just don't have the best digestive system so sometimes it gets messy or if I'm on my period I just like to have wipes and those are great for sensitive skin they never give me a rash or anything like that then I also have some sanitizer wipes then I also have some Kleenex wipes I would use these to kind of like wipe down my area if I ever needed to or like the seat on the airplane then I also have some travel tissues because again you just you never know especially during this time of year cold and flu season and coronavirus time you just always want to be prepared I have the lid to a cloud perfume. I have some mouthwash. This hasn't been opened yet, but I do love to keep mouthwash around. I have some in my car and I like to keep it in here just cause again, you never know, always good to be prepared. And I have this Kopari coconut melt. And then I also have floss. You really just never know when you might meet a cute man and need to go floss and mouthwash. <laughs> Then I also have this bracelet, which one of my fans made for me, and it's so cute. I forget how it ended up in here. I think I was wearing it one time, and then I took it off and threw it in here. Then I have a little mini spray deodorant. This is one of my all-time favorite deodorants. This is really good for sensitive skin. This is a deodorant that never gives me a rash. Literally every deodorant gives me a rash under my arms. This one does not. It is so amazing, and it smells so good. I love it. And then lastly, I just have a little bit of a highlighter in here. This is the L'Oreal Lumi highlighter, and I absolutely love these they're so cute and then it has a nice mirror down at the bottom so it's perfect if you need a little compact mirror and then lastly I just have a little clip and a hair elastic because I love having clips just in case then I also have this zipper pocket in here and in here I have a tea bag because I can't go anywhere without green tea. I also have Dramamine. I tend to get motion sickness a little bit depending on where I'm at, so I like to have that. I also have some tampons, band-aids, just like literally anything you could possibly imagine that you might need. I have cuticle cutters. I have no idea how these ended up in here, but this is not where they should be. And then I also have a nail file because I always need a nail file. This one's kind of like a dinky one, but my granny always had these. If it's an emergency, it will do. And then a pink lighter because pink is my favorite. But yeah, that is everything for my little cosmetic bag. Now I have to put this all back in here, but at least I can organize it. I'm just obsessed with this bag because everything fits so perfectly in it and it doesn't take up much room in my bag. It kind of matches my bag a little bit. It's just the best. I also have a pair of sunglasses in here. These are from Target. I love them. They're like rose gold. I think they're so cute. And then I also keep this little light up here. It's like a little reading light. You can use it either as like a book light. You can attach it to your book. I attached it to my purse so I can use it as a light to like look for stuff in my purse at night it's hard to find stuff in here sometimes and then I just have a little zipper pocket up here but there's nothing really in it there's a tissue that I think is used that's disgusting and a hand sanitizer wipe from United this shit works so good oh my god literally when I opened this on the plane Haley could smell it she was like oh my god I wish I could get a whole package of these like United really did something with this these wipes work so good not only will it kill germs but it might kill you too if you sniff it too much so be careful but yeah that is it for what's in my purse now it's all organized and it looks so good I love it if you guys are in the market for a new 
new bag. I highly suggest this one. I got it at TJ Maxx. This bag is literally one of my favorites. I will never get rid of this thing. I use it so much and it's just like the quality is so crazy. I can't believe it looks brand new still and I've had it for four years. It's just insane. And then of course I would normally have my wallet and my keys and my phone in there but I also have a smaller purse that I use. It's a crossbody bag and I tend to have like my keys and other stuff in there. But yeah that is it for my what's in my purse video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what your purse essentials are because I'm always looking for new stuff to stick in my purse. As you can tell, I love having everything and anything I could possibly need in case of an emergency. I definitely want to start doing more chill, like sit down videos like this just because I want to start posting more. I don't want to just post vlogs. I want to kind of post whatever I can. So let me know what you guys want to see. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.